In this video, I'll be going over logarithmic functions. So first, let's just talk about more generally what a logarithm is. So a simple definition is a logarithm is the exponent. A base must be raised to to produce a given number. So we have three values here. So suppose I have 5 raised to some exponent that is equal to 25. So for the logarithm of this expression, we want to know what is the exponent that we must raise the base 5 to in order to get 25. And the number inside the exponent is 2. So we use the logarithmic function for us to be able to find that value 2. So an even simpler way of saying this is that logarithms um, equal exponents. Now this is a very general um, equation. It's not very specific or precise, but as a guiding principle, let's remember that. Logarithms always equal exponents. For a more um, rigid um, or technical definition, of a logarithm, we have this. So a logarithm base b of a positive number x satisfies these two equations. So um, let's look at this equation first. If we had b to the y power is equal to x. We can write that as a logarithmic equation. y is equal to log base b of x. So we see is this exponent here becomes the value that the logarithmic expression, this part, is equal to. So the log, what we see here is that the log is equal to the exponent. Okay? And then the base number of the regular exponential equation becomes the base of the logarithm. Um, and then the x goes inside the argument of the logarithm. So in this video, what we'll be doing is we'll be converting between these two forms, these two forms of this equation, um, and then we're going to evaluate a few different logarithmic expressions. So first, let's convert from log form to exponential form. And remember, when we write, um, when we have an equation in log form, whatever it's equal to is going to be the exponent of the base. Okay, so to rewrite this into exponential form, we're going to take the base, we're going to raise that to the exponent, and then whatever number is left over, um, we write on the right side of the equal sign. So 6 to the 1 half is equal to square root of 6. That is a true statement. Um, on number 2, this is the exponent. 5 is the base. So we're going to say the base of 5 raised to the exponent of 2 is equal to 25. That's also true. 5 squared is equal to 25. So next, let's look at how we can go from exponential form to log form. Okay, so remember logs, a log expression is always equal to the exponent. So in the first one, the exponent is 3. The base is 2, so that becomes the base of the logarithm. And then whatever number is left over goes inside the argument. So we have log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And then on the second one, the base is 4, the exponent is x, so that's by itself in the equal in the equation. And then the third number, um, 256, becomes the argument of the log expression. Now there are two um, kind of special types of logarithms that we want to be aware of. One is a common log, the other is a natural log. So a common log is just a log with a base of 10. Okay, so log base 10 of some number, x. Okay, so when we have a common logarithm like this, typically we don't, we will not write the 10 as its base. So anytime we see a log without a base number here, that means that 10 is in there. Okay, so think of it, it's kind of analogous to when we see something like this, 
square root of 25, we understand that there's a 2 here. We just don't write it. It's similar to with the, with the common log. When we have log of some value and there's no base explicit there, we understand that to be a 10 as its base. And if I had log, let's say, of x is equal to y, if I wanted to write that as an exponential equation, well, the base is 10, the exponent is y, and then the argument is x. So these are equivalent to each other. All right, next we have a natural log. And a natural logarithm is a log with a base of the exponential number e. Okay. So log base e of x. How we write this is ln of x. So ln um, is just shorthand for log base e. So if we had a logarithmic, x, a logarithmic equation of ln of x is equal to um, y, well, the base number is e, the exponent is y, and that is equal to x. So ln of x is just a special case um, of our logarithmic function, and that just means the base number is e. So next we want to be able to evaluate the logs. I'm going to do um, some evaluations both with and without a calculator. So for these first ones, let's not use a calculator. So y is equal to log of 1,000. Remember, this is a common log, so we can um, uh, just assume that the, there's a 10 there as its base. So what this is saying is 10 to the power of y is equal to 1,000. So what would y equal? Well, y is going to be equal to 3 here. Uh, the next one, we have y is equal to log of 1 over 100. So again, the base is 10. So you have 10 to the y power is equal to 1 over 100. And anytime we get a fraction like this, um, the exponent is going to be negative. So this is going to be y is equal to negative 2. So 10 to the negative 2 power is the same as 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100. And then for the third one, we have y is equal to log base 5 of 125. So we'd say 5 to the y power is equal to 125. y is going to be 3 here. So those are all pretty straightforward um, uh, evaluations without using a calculator. Now let's use a calculator. So for number four, we have y equals log of 500. Now anytime we have a common log, in other words, a base of 10 on the logarithm, we can simply type in log 500 into the calculator and we'll get a value. And we, when we do that, we get a y value here of about 2.69897. So what this means, because the base is 10, that means 10 to about the 2.67897 is equal to about 500. So that's how we check that. And that makes sense because 10 squared is 100, 10 cubed is 1,000. So it makes sense that the value is between 2 and 3. Uh, for number 5, we end up with a value of y equal to negative 1.3979 about. So again, let's check that. We would have 10 to the negative 1.3979 is equal to about 1 over 25. And again, this makes sense because if we have a negative exponent, um, right, 10 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 10. 10 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 100, and this number is in between there, so the exponent's going to be between negative 1 and negative 2. And then for the 6, for number 6, we're going to type in ln of 20, and that comes out to about 2.9957. And what this means here is, well, ln is the same thing as log base e, so what this means is e to the 2.9957 
is about equal to 20.